What up YouTube, my name is Marvin and today we're going to be taking a look at the Joyo Dark Flame. Joyo sent me this pedal to review online, but everything I do say about this pedal will be my own thoughts. I don't know too much about it. I know it's part of the Revolution series, which I've never gotten to try, but they look really cool and I've heard some really good things about it. On here it says that it's a, revolutionary, a Revolution series modern distortion. So I'm sure it's meant to be like a tight and aggressive kind of pedal. Ooh. Get a little bit of literature. Let's see what it says. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I buy pedals, I actually read the manuals. Same with amplifiers. All right, you guys didn't miss much. It's pretty simple. It comes with the feet. This is cool. It's like inside this box. I like the presentation. And that's all you get inside. I know some people don't think about presentation, but I do because it's part of your, your experience when you buy something. Opening it, you know, unwrapping it and stuff. I consider that as part of a package. Okay, that can stay there. There you go, nice look at it. So the pedal itself is actually not that big. It's a little wide, but I like the build quality. It's like aluminum. I know this is the bottom part that glows here, just volume and gain, bass, middle, and treble, and a dip switch that can go dark, bright, and have it off. Seems like there's gonna be a lot of options in this pedal. Uh, simple input, output, and on the back, you actually have a dip switch which controls the light down here, which it says sync, always, and off. Very interested to see how that's gonna turn out. So this pedal runs at nine volts DC. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna turn off my studio light so you can see it better. Check that out. It goes with the front. See? Oh, it goes on both sides. That's, yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. Look, it's on this side and the side. I know that's really dumb, but I love things that glow and do lighting, stuff like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm a big sucker for that. Let me see if I can figure out what sync is. Ah, okay. Sync turns it off when you turn the pedal off. If you put it as always, as long as the pedal is plugged in, the, uh, the lights will be on. Then if you have it on off, it doesn't turn on at all. So I'm gonna connect my guitar and let's see how this sounds. I thought it would be fitting to use the Joyo Bandtemp XL, the Meteor that Joyo had just sent me. I actually did a full review of that amp. Uh, you can click around somewhere, somewhere around this video and you can watch that. Seeing as the box said modern distortion, I decided to get a modern guitar. It's my Ibanez RGA8. It's got Fishman Fluence, Tosa Nabasi pickups and I am tuned to F sharp standard. Like I said, I'll be using my Joyo Meteor as my clean. Here is the clean. And okay, never used this before. Here we go. I'm kidding. I know the knobs are all down. I was just kidding. First, let's normalize everything. The gain's halfway in the middle. Honestly, it seems like I could use a little more gain, but I'm in the middle, so let's see how much more we can get out of it. Hmm. Not a lot of game. Um Let's see. Hmm. 
I mean, there's a lot of gain, but it's not... It's not what I was expecting. Maybe I have to mess around with the controls. So I'm gonna leave the volume where it is. Let me see how bright and dark sounds. This is bright. Okay, and here's dark. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Let me start messing around with the EQ. I'm going to put this back in off and let's see what the EQ can do. I'm going to lower this just in case the EQ starts getting a little bit crazy. Okay, so the reason I thought it didn't have a lot of game is because the highs control the character of the game. I mean, I'm sure that all of these are going to mess with the gain and everything. That's what I was expecting it to sound like. That's why I was just like, it sounds a little soft, you know? So let me, I'm going to mess around with more of the EQ. Okay, the mids all the way up sounds weird. Don't like that. Let me bring that back down. I don't know anyone that puts the mids that high up anyway on any pedal that they have. But the mid sweep itself is pretty cool. It's not super, super in your face, but it's definitely noticeable, especially the feel of the amp. The amp. The, amp. the pedal. <laughs> the feel of the pedal when you change the mids is different. It's a different kind of attack. <laughs> Taking all the lows out makes it almost sound like a, a lo-fi pedal, like an, like an 8-bit pedal, where they use it to get that radio sound, uh, like the old school sound that a lot of bands use for intros. Listen to this. <laughs> See what I mean? That's pretty cool. Um, so it definitely cuts the lows, as it should. And that's cool. It boosts the, high, the highs. It boosts the lows, but it's not flubby. So it's definitely a modern distortion. I like that, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna mess around with this EQ, get it to where I see, where I think it sounds best. 
All right, let's see how the bright knob affects everything now. And to the dark knob. So far this pedal is just kind of all right. Like it's not bad. I just, I don't know. I thought it'd have more gain. Like I thought it'd be more in your face. I like that. Having it on dark with the highs all the way up, I like that. As opposed to having the on it on bright. Yeah, I'm not playing that. But on dark with the highs really high up and the gain where it's at, I like it. That sounds good. Oh man. And it's, it's real. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, it doesn't feel like a pedal. It doesn't play like an amp either, but it kind of does. Like it's kind of exciting. I did a demo of my Friedman BEOD, which simulates the real BE100 amp. And I played both. Like I've actually played a BE100 and it does it really well. This has that same kind of feel of that pedal. Like that pedal feels like an amp, but you kind of know it's not an amp, but it's pretty close. And this is the same thing. Like that's, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go to the bright. I'm going to lower, I'm going to mess around with the EQ again. Let's see what happens if I put the highs all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more highs. I'm gonna cut the mids. I'm gonna scoop this. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna boost up the bass and we're on the bright channel or bright uh, setting like this. Uh, I just put the lows down a little bit and boosted the mids now. The pedal is weird when the highs are low. 
to me, when the highs are low, it sounds muffled. Like, it sounds like it's holding back. And that's, I don't really like that. It's kind of weird. But I don't want to put the highs too high with the bright engaged. Let me see how high I can go before it starts sounding weird. It's not bad at all. I guess I'm not gonna really be using the bright uh, unless maybe if I have a dark instrument, then I could see how that might be useful. This H, this particular H string that I have is a little on the bright side. So maybe that's why I don't like the bright setting. That could be. Uh, I could try it out later with other guitars. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That's probably why I don't like it and maybe why I like it more in dark. I'm gonna put it back in off and play around with the gain since now, surprisingly, all the settings are in the middle. So let's see what the gain sounds like again. You know what's one thing I actually really like about this pedal? The gain gives you more gain, but doesn't give you more noise and doesn't give you more weird artifacts. You know what I mean? Sometimes these kind of um, pedals, when you boost the gain up too high, they just get noisy and sound like mush or too much low end or, you know, even some amps can do that as well. And I really do appreciate that about this amp, <sighs> amp. Pedal. I really do appreciate that about this pedal. Check this out. Overall, you get the point. The gain is a quiet gain, if that makes sense. So what are my final thoughts? This pedal, if I remember correctly, is only $90 brand new. For $90, that's great. I really do like it. The only thing I can say that I don't like is how high I have to put the highs to get it where I, in my mind, see that it should sit. I don't wanna say that's a bad thing of the pedal. Maybe they designed it like that on purpose because you know it really depends on your setup. If you have a guitar that's uh, super bright, then I guess you don't really need all of that. You know, like this one's on a little bit on the brighter side, but I wonder how it's gonna be with a guitar that's kind of dark. At the same time, you also do have the bright knob. So the bright knob, the bright switch. So that, I guess that goes hand in hand with it. So I can understand that. The tone of this pedal is great. I actually really like it. It's tight but not overly tight and aggressive. To me, this is what a modern distortion should sound like. A lot of modern guitar players tends to go for an overly tight, like weird sound, but doesn't even sound natural. This pedal sounds very natural to me. And I really like that. And I'm not just saying it just because Joyo gave it to me for free. If I knew about this, I would have taken it. I would have bought it. I actually really like it. I think the design is really cool. I absolutely love the lights on the outside. The color I think is really nice as well. It's a really metal look and it looks like a very modern pedal. The lights obviously are kind of unnecessary, but they look cool. And I love to have things that look cool. I mean, I always believe that we should love the way our gear looks as much as we love how it sounds. Because yeah, something could sound nice, but if it looks ugly, it's kind of like, uh, 
You know what I mean? Like, like I love the look of the Joyos. I love the look of my Mesa um, Prodigy. It glows blue. They really do matter. To me, they matter. And if you can get it all in one cohesive package, like this Dark Flame, it wins in my book. I definitely would recommend anyone looking for it to uh, check it out as it is budget friendly at only $90, if I'm not mistaken. You can definitely do a lot with this pedal. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this Joyo Dark Flame. And if you've tried any of the other Joyo Revolution pedals, without further ado, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a great day.